So to make the spiral flange sleeve I'm trying to create, I'll be using this uh, a fabric and I will be using this uh, resilient bone to, you know, for the spiral effect to come out perfectly. So, and then I'll be using 360 degree um, method of a flay to cut out my sleeve first. So I'll be cutting out like three like three to four you know of that flay so what i will do is that the length will be working with we are working with length seven inches but i'm going to fold my fabric with a uh, nine inches i will have two inches for my radius because i'll be using two inches for the radius because the smaller the radius is you know the the fuller the the spiral will be so you can use one and a half, you can use two, you know, one and a half to two and a half inches so to give you flamboyant uh, spiral. So I will measure nine, I mean 18 inches, then I fold it into two, then I fold it into four. If you don't know how to cut a 360 degree flay, so you can go to, go and check our, you know, video. We have video on how to make different type of it. By VC Court Fashion House. So here we have. So now I'll be use I'll be cutting out like a three of this the one we are trying to make is going to be double step so two steps so how we the second one i'll be cutting we have to reduce like one and a half so it will be like a five and a half inches now i've cut out my 360 degree flare and then i've opened it so this is the result we're having now so these two, they are of the same uh, length. There is a seven uh, and a half inches length. You know, half is going to be used for the folding of the hem. So for this, so these two now, I will be joining it together. So, and this, this one now is of uh, like a six inches uh, length. So this is going to be used for the for the second step because the one we are doing is going to be two steps so i will join this together also to become one so thereafter i will now begin to you know sew my resilient bone on the damp part of it after joining it together because this my resilient bone is the type that a machine can go on it so if it is the type there is other type that a machine cannot say Go on it if it is that type what you need to do is to fold your your fabric the you have the damp part of your flare first then you insert it but this one i can easily so it's my the needle can machine needle can climb it so that's what i want to do now join this to the i hem the damp parts and join my boom now i've joined my you know 360 degree flare the two i cut two and i've joined it together and you can decide to make yours a uh, three so as fuller as you want it so and i've fixed my regular bone to hit you can see that i feel this a uh, regular bone i fix it on the wrong side and i leave a like a cutter to so one centimeter of an uh, one, one centimeter i leave it before I fix the regilling bone and uh, 
Note that this is where I sew. You can see the hedge. I sew the regular bow. I sew it on the hedge, leaving this for me to fix the bias. So I will have to fix the bias. I will fix. I will fix it like so. I will place the bias on the on the front, on the right side of this uh, spiral. I will place it this way and sew it go round. Then after sewing it, I will now turn it to secure the regiline bone. So make sure you use the matching color. So you can do that and uh, you can as well use um, Krillonite for this uh, for this project. If you use your Krillonite, you, which means you have to cut uh, your lining, you know, to cover it. You cover you cut your lining the same way, even to cover this. So that's the next thing I'm going to do now. I'll go and use this my bias to, you know, secure the the gilling bone. That's the next thing I'm going to do now for the two. You know, it's two step we are making. I will do it for the two before I now place it on their safe. Then I fix it on my. It's going to be more than the hammer circumference in my. So I I will have to pleat it. I will pleat it around the hammer circumference. So you can see that even with the, as we have not even finished doing it, the spiral effect is already sewing on it. So let me go and do this. So now, after making your spiral flans, you can use it to de design any part of your dress, like your hair mold, your neckline. So you are good to fix it in any part, part of your dress. I'm sure you have uh, enjoyed this video. So like it, share it with your friends, and uh, drop your comments on the comment section, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much. See you next time.